reporting for duty at a quarry in Bale, Switzerland. This monster hauls about 65 tons of ore onto a gentle slope. Normally, a truck like this would guzzle up to 83,000 liters of fuel per year, pumping out up to 2,000 tons of carbon dioxide by its own. A fleet of such trucks which is employed by various coal mines, iron ore mines and quarries around the whole world generates about thousands of tons of CO2 every year. But not this e-dumper or electro-dumper. E-dumper is manufactured by German company Kunzwich. The electro-dumper is 30 feet long, 14 feet wide and 14 feet tall. It weighs around 45 tons when empty. The tires alone are taller than a human being. This all-electric beast is powered by a 4.4 ton battery with a capacity of about 700 kilowatt hour. What's more staggering is the fact that this vehicle doesn't ever need to be recharged. This 110 ton truck is actually greener than a Tesla. In fact, according to CNN, this vehicle produces 200 kilowatt hour of surplus power each day. So let's look at how this happens. How this huge vehicle produces surplus of electric power? Normally in an electric vehicle, electricity is stored in a battery and used to power the electric motor that drives the vehicle either directly or, or via drive shaft. Okay, so this is the basics. The beauty of an electric motor is that while it takes electricity to spin it up, the reverse is also true. I'll repeat, the reverse is also true, which means spinning the shaft also generates electricity. In this scenario, the electro dumper source of seemingly unlimited power is unique. How? The e-dumper is loaded up with 65 tons of material at the top of a hill. As it comes down, the vehicle only needs to brake to avoid quitting very fast, it only applies brake. So most of this braking regenerates electricity and since the vehicle is so heavy, it generates a lot of electricity. That is all the electric vehicle science. And this electricity is stored in the battery. Now, what happens after it dumps its load? Once the load is dumped, the electric dumper becomes lighter. Now it had traveled uphill using the charge it had gained while coming down. And now because it is much more lighter, it needs less power. From testing, it appears that the electro charges the battery to about 88% while going down and consumes about 80% of the total charge when returning to the top. This means that the vehicle is generating about 10% surplus energy per trip. Now, in any other situation, let's say the reverse of this, this vehicle would simply not generate enough electricity. So if electro were to be employed in an iron ore mine, where it drives down into a pit where it gets lowered up and climbs back, it will need a lot more energy to climb back than it did going in. So this use case might be quite limited, but it's unlikely that a company would want an electric vehicle that would need hundreds of downtime after every run. Its niche role proves that with intelligent and judicial use of technology at hand and with the right investment, there clearly are less environmentally harmful and clever alternatives if you are trailing to look hard enough and make that choice of switching to electric technology.
So that's it for today. This is eCharge signing off. Do let your views about this e-dumper in the comments below. Thank you.